Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I'll be showing you how to equip and unequip a weapon using the third person blueprint. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be using the base character that comes with the third person blueprint just because the animations fit with the weapon I will be equipping. The weapon I will be equipping is a sword. So I'll just start off. I have created a new folder in the meshes folder. I just named weapon sword and I'm going to import that. So I'm going to go to where it's saved and mine's named weapons.fbx, it's an fbx file and I was quite lazy with the name so I'm just going to drag it into this folder let go, make sure you hover in the area you're importing it to just for a few seconds because sometimes Unreal doesn't understand you're trying to import if you just drag it and drop it straight away so in the, these mesh options I'm going to import as skeletal and as you can see this dropbox that comes here so import mesh, I want to do that because I'm actually importing the weapon. Uh, if you don't want to import the mesh, then what it does is it just imports the animations instead. And for skeleton, I want to click none because otherwise it comes up with the hero skeleton and the third person skeleton, which are the humanoid ones which don't work for what I'm importing. And I have no animations to import. So I'm just going to import this. So now... I have my weapon in here and it has its skeleton because it's using a root bone that it will go by. Now we need to make it so I can equip it. So first thing I want to do is I want to go to my character and I want to go on to his skeleton. And from here I'm going to go to this animation tab and I'm just going to select idle by double clicking it and go back to the skeleton tab. This just means his idle pose is playing and it just makes it much easier to assign the socket correctly. I'm using sword, so I'm going to use a right-handed weapon socket so he can equip it in his right hand, which is this one. So I'm going to go through the, all these bones until I find hand right, which is here, hand underscore R. And I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to add a socket. And I'm just going to name this weapon socket. Now I have my socket, but I don't know if it's in the right position. So what I can do is I can right-click on my socket, and add a preview asset. As I suspected, my weapon is in the wrong location. It's going through his wrist. Not the most efficient place to hold your sword. So now I'm going to left click on my weapon socket and just move it around in the world. I'm going to cycle the transformation so it uses the normals and I can just push it down until it's kind of sitting in his hand sort of nicely. Obviously as I'm using just a base reference and animation, it's just going to clip through his hand no matter how much I mess with it. So I'm just going to get something that looks pretty decent. And if I play his idle animation, it looks quite good. I can double check with another animation. I will select walk. And I can see that's working pretty nicely as well. It does clip through his leg, but like I said, it's just the basic animation. So for your game, you'd probably animate it, taking into account the size of the default weapon. So now we've got our socket set up on our character. We can equip the sword. So I'm going to go to my blueprints and then go to my third person character. Now I've got our weapon socket. We want to have a place where we can actually put our weapon. So I'm going to go to my mesh, and I'm going to add a component to it, because I want to parent it to the mesh. And I'm going to add a skeletal. And I'm just going to name this skeletal underscore weapon. And just double check it's parented to the mesh by dragging and dropping it onto it. And I'm going to press this icon over here on sockets and parent it to the weapon socket. Now as you can see, that's not the position I want the socket in. So I'm going to turn off real time and I'm going to fix this. So sometimes it does this, other times it might not. So you just want to take care during this. The reason I turn off real time is because the position, the component I'm moving here seems to move in, seems to get affected by the hand position when going through the animation. So I just find it easier to turn off real time and do it this way. So I'm going to move it into the palm of the hand, because this is where I want the weapon to spawn. Again, I can double check and have a preview by just adding the skeletal mesh. And as you can see, there's a couple more things I need to fix. I need to fix its rotation. So I'm actually going to undo that and just turn on snapping. Rotate it about 90 degrees. And again, I have a sort of nice position for my sword. So I can just double check this by turning real time on again. And it moves with the hand like I suspected. So I'm just going to press this back arrow and get rid of it. Because now we have it referenced, we don't need it there because we want to actually equip it. So the next thing we need to do is add a new blueprint. 
So right click and add a new blueprint class and we want our actor. And what we want is we want my sword equip. And sort of like before we just want to add our skeletal mesh. And we need to preview it. So I'm going to add my weapon and here it is. Now the next thing I want to do is a sphere collision. We can bring it up and we want to scale it just so it's bigger than the sword but not too big. So I'm going to put on that padlock and I'm going to scale it to about 3 and compile it. And the reason for this is now you see it has this nice sphere capsule around it. So if I just bring it over to this box and we'll light it flat. And as you can see, I now have this little zone, which is brilliant because what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to come into this zone and equip my sword, but only in a small radius that would actually make sense. So even this might be a little too big. We might want to go back into here and probably say about 2.5. Yeah, I reckon around that. And compile it. Now we want to go to our event graph and on this sphere collision we want to make it set overlap all and we want to add on component begin overlap. From here we want to cast to third person character and set our other actor up as the object. So we're saying when something overlaps with the sphere check if this other actor, the one that's overlapping the collision, is our third person character and if it is then we'll do what the third person character wants to do. We want to go to our third person character and we want to add some variables. So if we add two variables, we want to add weapon, well, equipment, I'm going to call this pickup, and I want to add equipment skeletal. And this bottom one, I don't want it as a boolean. I want to search in this for a skeletal mesh. And now we have our two variables. The boolean equipment pickup to check if there's equipment around that can be picked up. And the actual equipment we're going to pick up. So now we'll go back to our sword equip. And we want to, as our third person character, set equipment pickup to true. And from here we also want to set equipment skeletal. And we want the name of this asset. I'm having this set as weapons, so I'm just gonna I can easily just select my asset and do the weapon skeletal mesh. And then I'm gonna go back to my character. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna press E and then type key to get the E key so I can interact. And what I want to do is hold B and left click to bring up a branch. So once I've pressed E, I want to check if there's any nearby equipment by getting my equipment pickup. And then from here, if it's true, I want to set my skeletal mesh, skeletal weapon, we want to make sure we're doing this one. And I want the target to be myself, but I want the new mesh to be this equipment skeletal. So we'll get it and we'll equip it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set my equipment pickup to false because now there's no equipment about that we can pick up. So if I press E now I have equipped the sword. So now we want to get rid of the sword. We want to be able to unequip the sword when wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this up and I'm going to get the Z key. And then from here when the Z key I just want to set the skeletal mesh Right, so I'll just get these two reference. I want to set it to none. Compile it. And what you can do if you want is you can spawn actor from class and we want our sword equip. We want to get actor location. So now when I pick up the sword, I can pick up the sword, press C, I drop the sword. 
Okay, now it's not simulating physics, which is why it's just kind of standing there. But it just goes to show that you can easily pick it up and drop it. Okay, so that is how you can easily create a equip and unequip blueprint using Unreal Engine 4. Hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, leave any comments, suggestions or advice below, and I'll get back to you when possible. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.